Today is the, the day before the Bakersfield Women's Conference and I am feeling just a little nervous, a little, I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling hopeful um, and there's a couple of things that I need to do. One thing is do this one nail because that nail popped off. Um, <laughs> But um, I'm, I'm currently working right now. I don't know if you can see. Currently working right now and um, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm going to the conference and I know I'm in a small town right now. Um, so I know that it's not as like extreme as the nervousness is trying to make it feel like. But I just wanted to hop on because I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow. And so I want to vlog my day. Um, and so I want you guys to just kind of see the before. Um, before, uh, <laughs> before the date, uh, I prayed with a friend yesterday. We have our, our Tuesday. Yeah, t yesterday was Tuesday. Tuesday evening prayer. And she was just prophesying over me and just encouraging me for tomorrow because, um, you know, um, because, you know, for people that are, that deal with or struggle with anxiety and, and even like imposter syndrome or just feeling like you're not enough or you don't belong. I'm just vlogging my journey, you know, so that you could see what it looks like for somebody that goes through those things, uh, what it looks like to show up in spite of. And so I'll be vlogging during, again, like I said, I'll be vlogging during the event and then definitely afterwards I'll give a recap on my overall experience there. I know that God has me there for a reason. I am not sure exactly why. Like, <laughs> I know I have big visions and plans. I know that I'm a businesswoman. I know that my daughter has a business. So I guess that would be the reason why. But specifically, I'm like, what exactly am I there to do and see and learn? So I don't know all those details. Um, but yeah, I'm just going, walking out on faith. I have bought a, a, a necklace that has the word faith on it. Um, and it wasn't intentional. I wasn't meaning really to buy that one, but it was the only one the store had that was like in the style that I was looking for. So I just think God's been speaking to me through this whole process. And so all I have to do is just receive and just expect the best because literally he had everything covered for me. He had my ticket covered. He had my outfit covered. He had every single thing covered, detail covered. And so I know he's obviously in it and I know he wouldn't allow me to fail or to, um, yeah, he wouldn't allow me to fail. So I'm just expecting major things, major blessings. And so I'm just looking forward to it. And then also I'm doing Natasha Kindred's makeup, which is like a mover and shaker in town. She's like an activist or like an organizer. And I believe she's affiliate, like she's either like the chairman or like the host or something for the actual conference. So I'm actually doing her makeup at 5 a.m. tomorrow and I'll be vlogging that too so you guys could see what that looks like because I know she's going to look fabulous. I already had a vision for her makeup and everything. Um, and so, yeah, so here we are. It's never too late, guys. You know, it's never too late to get it right and to to start over. So I just want to vlog and encourage you watching. And yes. Good morning. So today is the day of the Bakersfield Business Women's Conference. I am getting ready right now. Um, as you can see, I have one brow on. <laughs> I feel really good about the day. Um, I can't wait to get into 
deeper prayer. I'm just going to, um, I think I'm getting dressed first and then I'm praying throughout and then spending some consecrated time with the Lord after. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is the beginning of the day. Hey guys, let's get ready together. This is my morning routine. I had already washed my face with CeraVe and did my skincare regimen. I applied NYX Marshmallow Primer and I actually applied Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as foundation. That's like a, a trick of the trade. This is Milani Cream Blush. I used it right on the bone of my cheeks, like my cheekbone, the upper cheekbone part. And fun fact, I purchased my lashes off of Amazon in bulk. Uh, they have the best faux mink lashes. And you see that line of demarcation? Don't trip. We're going to blend that out. But that is Ruby Woo MAC. I wanted to go for a power lip. I went ahead and wore my accessories. There's a fun story actually about the necklace. Uh, in this outfit, I was inspired by uh, the makeup artist Bobbi Brown. She's very casual, but very powerful. And she's uh, very true to herself. And that's what I wanted to give that day as well because um, that's the energy I wanted to bring this part is amazing my husband was inspired to come in and uh, just pray for me and so you see him here blessing me before my day he had even agreed with me on a fast for this event for the favor of the Lord and um, this was very powerful and we came into agreement for God's will check this part out well, you know how they do the apostolic thing on the hands? Uh huh. Um, what's the pinky? Uh, I think it was a teacher. Really? Mm hmm. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Because I literally, when you were praying, I literally felt like, like I've been feeling things, like, like physically lately. It's just like, so I felt something ping my pinky. Mm -hmm. And I was just like praying. I thought it was like my body nervous system or something like that. So I was just like, okay, whatever. But then it did it on this one too. And then it like, it, but this one made it because I was like, like, it, it was off. It like, it was like a notion. That may be like the tangible presence that I prayed about that you have a tangible presence. No, yeah, no. I think like you either prayed that before or after I felt that. Really? I think it was before. I was and I felt, I felt something, I, I felt like hands. an angel, like, touch my pinky, to or hands. like, I don't know if it was Holy Ghost or what, but I felt something go, boom, and I felt something go, boom, on both my hands, and I was like, and the first thing that came to my mind was like, the fivefold ministry, but it was like, what's the pinky represent? Hallelujah. And so that's interesting, because, um, I, like, I'm, I have a curriculum book, like, yeah, I'm absolutely. starting to teach, so yeah. it's very interesting. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm hmm yeah, yeah very interesting yeah yeah okay guys so i have my makeup done i put some lashes on just a little subtle beat because this is a, a business conference um however i just wanted to make sure that i stay true to my image so you know i had to add a little flair with my glasses and kept it simple on the earrings i'm still not sold on that charm i might take that off yeah i think i'm gonna take that charm off um but yeah Here is a quick little tour of the grand suite for the chairman of the event. I had the honor of doing her makeup for the day and I just knew that I wanted to add texture and dimension to her skin uh, to give her like a glow that matches her inner glow which is obviously really hard because she's such a beautiful spirit but I tried my best and I think I did a good job. I wanted to build up the foundation, so I used all lightweight, including Haley's foundation, which is my recent favorite. Setting the foundation with Patrick Star Translucent Powder. I had finally made it to the conference and one of the early birds there, so I got a chance to take some cool videos. Met amazing vendors. This is the grand entrance, darling, to the theater where we could sit ourselves and prepare ourselves for the first panel. 
I decided to sit in the nosebleed so I could see everything and look who shows up. It's my health coach, Aisha Duran with a PSA. Oh, my new mantra is, I'm the best makeup artist in Bakersfield. And she is. Y'all heard that. And this is the first workshop that I attended and look who's speaking. Lunchtime was fabulous. I had the best table with the best group of women. And look at her makeup, six hours later, still glowing. Okay guys, so I'm just now leaving the Bakersfield Women's Business Conference. I think I'm saying that right. And it was such a success. I got a chance to connect with some people that I really feel like the Lord wanted me to connect with specifically so I'm excited um, about these divine connections it was like literally every workshop that I would go to I would literally like be sat next to somebody that were saying that they needed my services or you know somebody that I could collaborate with in one way or another it's amazing it has totally shifted the way that I even see my business model as where before I was just selling product. Now, it's very clear to me that I am leaning a lot more into the image consulting space, uh, pertaining to makeup artistry, photography, and uh, creative direction for small businesses and helping build like marketing strategy or branding for marketing for companies. So, <sighs> uh, yeah. I feel blessed, made some amazing connections, like I said. Today went exactly how I wanted it to, which is how God wanted it to. And yeah, I'm very happy. No complaints. Uh, yeah, but I'm spent. I got my day started this morning at 3 a.m. I had to do makeup at 5 a.m. and her makeup turned out gorgeous and she was rocking it she looked good she was glowing and so she felt confident I talked her into wearing lashes because she didn't want to wear lashes so but I was able to put lashes on her talk her into it and it really made a big difference as far as her makeup look was and now I am walking to the car and and I'm feeling just super inspired. I'm gonna go home and get my business plan together and uh, see what I could do. But I just wanted to keep you guys posted because it was a lot for me. A year ago, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Okay, so I have to make this quick because literally my battery is down to 1%. So I just want to recap my time at the conference. It went extremely well. Um, God's hand was just on that entire day for me from the, the beginning of the morning. I park um, the parking lot's full. I get one of the, the best spots in the parking lot right in the front. Um the treatment that I got, just the favor of the Lord. I got a chance to make some really good connections. And overall, it was just like a huge boost to my purpose, like my sense of purpose. And everything became really clear to me as far as my my mission uh, and, and with Beyond Beauty and the direction that I'll be going in. So I learned that I'm not just a product driven company and I'm not just a makeup artist or a photographer, but that I'll actually be providing these services for women that are in need. And I already knew that, but it got real specific, like fine tuned. So it'll be um, these services. I'll be teaching classes. They'll be designated for women that are survivors of breast cancer that's lost hair that are needing to re-envision themselves or reimagine themselves afresh, um, teaching them how to apply brows when there's no hair there, things like that, using microfibers to um, even put hairs in place uh, if they want, educating them, burn victims, women that, um, you know, have 
uh, scarring from burns that have to reimagine and revision themselves. So this is the kind of work that I'll be doing as well as um, for women that are going back into the workforce from the prison system. I'll be partnering with Dress for Success and different cancer um, organizations uh, and things like that. So I'm very excited about this work because, first of all, I have a passion for teaching. And in the video earlier, you see me talking about how my pinky, I felt like a little ping on both of my pinkies that morning. Well, that and the, when they, um, people describe the apostolic or like the fivefold ministry gifts, they, you know, kind of use the illustration of the hands and how the pinky is the teaching. So that was very interesting that that day it was confirmed that I will be teaching. God is so good. So the entire day was like that for me, like even up until the lunch, I sat next to a, um, a nice lady and she, you know, she said that it was an answer prayer because of the services that I provide. She was saying how she was looking for somebody like me. So that's just a trip to me. She said she literally prayed two days before asking the Lord to send her somebody that could help her with image consulting and all those things. And that's, a branch of what I'm doing as well for those women that um, need assistance with um, uh, envisioning their brand. I help them to fine tune their branding and to just refine, refine their branding and things like that. So, um, but that's like a different branch, but I'm really, my passion project really is going to be teaching to emancipate a youth from the foster care system teaching them how to do their makeup, teaching them makeup to them as a trade or a skill that they could get paid from. Things like that, to me, I'm like, I'm here for it. So I'm so excited because um, I made a really good connection in um, a really like a uh, mover and shaker in town. And she said she'll let me use her space to teach and all free of charge. I'm like, oh my God, God's just aligning everything perfectly. So I'm just so excited. I'm so happy to be able to recap this with you guys so that you know that God is so good and he keeps his promises. Literally, I fasted, I prayed before the event. I wanted to make sure that I was in a great space and I was to be able to receive what God had in store for me that day. And you can do that too. I just speak the blessings of the Lord over you guys. And thank you so much for taking time to watch the video. Until next time, I'll keep you guys posted on all the developments of everything. Until next time, bye.